Well, hi again, Mammy. The sun's actually shining, Mammy. It's amazing. It's like, uh, what, been two days, no sun, just constant rain. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, whatever. I guess that's what makes the uh, trees grow so good. But Here's a nice example. We're getting into better timber in here. But sure looks nice. The uh, understory is just amazing. I mean, almost all of that you see growing right there in that block. Almost all of that is black cherry, which is phenomenal. It's a really, really high-end species. It'll really make somebody some money someday. Here is uh, here's another block of regeneration. And that stuff is probably 10 or 12 feet tall already. I mean, it's way over my head. I'll but, stand next to it. Yeah, Mammy's gonna go over and stand next to it and give you an idea of how tall this stuff is. You can see it, it's well over twice her height. And uh, she's 16 feet tall. Oh, I'm sorry. She's 5'4"? I didn't know Doo Doo would, would, was piled that high. Well, I'm only teasing Mammy. I love my Mammy. Here's one of the landings over here. Now this this part of the tract over here was a lot of old. Uh, they had stripped the coal out of here years and years ago, and it was all spruce plantation and. Uh, Spruce and, and poplar, uh, some pine plantation, but we went ahead and we clear cut a bunch of that area and uh, <laughs> You wouldn't believe It's almost all hardwood now coming back in on it. We, we kind of figured that would happen uh, It'll turn to birch and poplar But that's a lot more valuable than these old scrubby pine trees ever would be and plus the uh, wildlife wildlife benefit from it immensely because the uh, both birch and uh, poplar but especially poplar has a a little seed pod on it and uh, I'd show you but they're already pretty much gone for the for this year uh, but it, uh, it it it, it uh, creates a good seed source for them food source and uh, of course they can't get it when it's 60 feet in the air so these sapling areas bring in the deer and uh, another thing we see here in, in Pennsylvania that comes naturally when you get light in is blackberries. And these are all blackberry bushes. And if you look, I'm going to hold the branches up. They're not ripe yet, but there's blackberries. And there are millions and millions and millions of blackberries coming in here. And uh, hey, it makes it a little tough to walk through for us when we're hunting, but it is phenomenal food for the wildlife and that's why they come. So while we are uh, rejuvenating our forests, uh, obviously for commercial reasons, yes. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no need to not tell the truth there. Yes, we want to optimize our commercial value in our timber. But while we're doing that, while we're doing that, and, and, and environmentalists, please take note, uh, while we're doing that, we are enhancing wildlife to beat the band. And uh, obviously, uh, not only rejuvenating the timber, but rejuvenating the wildlife, uh, the whole food chain. Uh, the first thing that starts, of course, is insects, eating the decaying wood from the tops and the debris, and then rodents that eat them, and then birds of prey, and uh, small predatory animals, you know, such as bobcats and foxes, and, and of course the old coyotes, we're getting too many of them, they need to be called out, but, uh, and then right on up the, the line, deer, uh, you know, and even of course our apex predator in this area would be the uh, the uh, black bear, and there are mountain lions here too. You know, uh, they're kind of rare, but they are around here. And uh, but here I'm going to just pan this area now. You know, this when I tell you this was a clear cut, I mean this was a clear cut. They, we clear cut this thing, and if you guys can see now the uh, saplings, and again these, uh, you know, I'm six foot tall. And this birch uh, is a good, probably twice my height. And this is four years, four years growth. It's absolutely incredible. 
you, you see how big that tree is getting. But there's uh, this this whole area, and uh, I've, I, you can see we left a couple of uh, uh, when we did these clear cuts. We'll do uh, we'll just do a crop tree, and what we'll do is we'll leave a couple of uh, good genetic specimens. And a lot of times they'll blow over because they're standing out there on their own. But if they do, so be it. But if you can see right here, we left two decent black cherries that were pretty genetically sound looking trees and uh, I guarantee you I'm not gonna walk down in there right now because it's wet and soggy and I don't feel like getting uh, doused like an old wet rat but I guarantee you there's some cherry saplings coming up in that with that sunlight with the seed crop right there where it can drop off and uh, and take root um, and then of course being in uh, being in these areas that uh, w with the machinery and dragging the trees around you know you do you scarify the soil a little bit and you get the seeds that are there and you get them kind of buried it's kind of like gra uh, dragging a screed across your lawn after you seed it you know and it gets those seeds to germinate and uh, and of course you get your rainstorms on it and uh, it's just amazing absolutely amazing if you would saw this when we did it you'd have called me every name in the book how could you do that how hey I know what this stuff will do I've been doing this for 35 years and I'm uh, very proud to uh, look across this valley and this this whole area in here is is big I mean this this even this clear-cut area was probably 50 or 60 acres out of this 300 that we did and uh, there are literally millions and millions and millions of new trees coming in on this so yes we harvest them but we are uh, very instrumental in uh, in, in making a new forest and there is even some oak if you see here I'm gonna zoom in on them there's a nice little red oak coming in right there that's wonderful to see it'll make a nice valuable log someday and lots of acorns for the deer <laughs> but now on this side of the hall road is where it was uh, still a natural an actual hardwood forest. So. Hey, we'll see you later. Stay tuned. There's more. And here goes Mammy. <laughs>